Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge, and Pyrene, a dungeon crawling deck building roguelike, has finally released on Steam for about $15 US. I want to thank the devs at Two Tiny Dice for not only providing me a key to the game, but also for providing me some keys to raffle off in a giveaway as well. So if this game looks like something you're interested in, keep on watching and I'll tell you later on in this video on what you can do to become eligible. Mom. Eki, be praised. There you are. I thought I lost you. Are you hurt? Did those creatures attack you? And the others? Where are... Calm down. Calm down. I'm fine. We managed to escape before the monsters got to the village. But we're not safe here anymore. With everything burnt down and no wood to rebuild our defenses... The wood I can take care of. I think I know where to find some. I'll get you some quickly. Don't worry. Okay. So it looks like... Uh, so now that this is the full game and not the actual demo anymore, uh, as you can see, there's a few different places that we can uh, repair. The workshop, uh, the tavern, warehouse, sanctuary, Ergi's temple, market, and forge. So let's see where this is going to go. It's also a watchtower as well. We're going to go to the grasslands and we're going to talk about how the game plays. So we're in the safe zone. We can change our equipment. But, uh, let's see. So let's take a look at our equipment. Okay, so it looks like our endurance is five, meaning that only five cards from our six card deck can be equipped right now. This blueberry gives uh, one provision, one spirit, whereas this one gives three provisions. And I th provisions is quite important in this game. But maybe we can like get rid of this medicinal herb, which heals you for one, and we can get the provision instead, and, and then we can have spirit. But our character, actually, our character can do spirit. Spirit is mana basically, and uh, it's a special ability which does certain things depending on the character you play. So we have lateral shots, deal four damage to all enemies in the same row and column as you. So maybe that's something we want to do, because otherwise this character doesn't really have a way to regain spirit other than picking it up uh, manually off the ground as treasure. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the medicinal herb, take it out, and uh, instead have this in our, in our deck. Okay, so I think that is good. Uh, let's... that's that. And uh, once again, if you're unfamiliar with this game, the objective of the game is to get to the end of the whole map. And uh, on each level like this, you want to defeat the, as many monsters as you can and uncover as many, uh, as many uh, spots as possible uh, because there is this votive altar which will get you to the next spot. So let's see. Um, you also have to be careful in the way in which you move because once you move over uh, on a spot, you can't go back on that spot again unless you have a special ability to do so. So I'm gonna go over this single bow here. When I go over it, it deals five damage to the enemy with the most hit points, which will be this guy right here, a Drac. Um, and then I'll probably take the hunting knife afterwards and that will trigger uh, actually, I might not do that because this deals one damage to a random enemy in play up to three times and that might be a waste in terms of uh, enemies damaged. So let's uh, try. And notice that when you defeat an enemy, you there's there's random rewards you get. So I'm going to go here. I guess I guess I'll do that. I'll go gold coins. And now we're going to spend one provision. As you can see here, we're going to spend one provision to spend the night. And this will give us one to all all remaining enemies on the field. Uh, and it'll use... And uh, it'll replenish anything that is uh, been taken care of. Okay, so there's a blueberry. So that'll give us some more provisions. Uh, let's go with this guy. 
Okay. Oh, uh, you. I probably did that a little too quickly, but the skeletons, you have to kill twice because you kill undead and they kind of get re-raised. -re okay, as you can see here, I went into this corner and now I can't go back onto the spot, like I said. So we're going to now spend two provisions out of our five to be able to uh, rest overnight. There we go. And there's the votive altar. Now, the thing is, you could beeline to it, but the more enemies you kill, which I'm going to show you, if you kill this enemy right here, there's a votive shard and that uh, increases the level of your votive altar. And once you get to the votive altar, you'll get a chest. The stronger, the more stronger it is, the better the rewards. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go like that. And now I'm going to rest one more time. There we go. So I'm going to go like that. And like that. So we attack the skeleton. Got another one. Now it's level four. Level five. I got some spirit. And at the end of each, I guess, level, this we'll call this a level. At the end of each page or level, uh, you regain all your health. So uh, you shouldn't hold back. And you should try to stay on the level as long as you can uh, without dying. Uh, because if you die, you go back to the very beginning of the game. Uh, but there's a little bit of roguelike uh, essence to it. So we're going to open up this chest. And uh, we're going to have a hammer, a wooden shield, and umbro as an option. So as you can see uh, in the top right, it shows the rarity of the item. So usually, obviously, like in any game, the higher the rarity, the better the card is. But it may not work for your strategy. So let's see. So this says, deal three damage to enemies around you for, and for each enemy hit, you receive shield. That's really good. Uh, or I can do Umbro. I, it gets, uh, gives you one shield. Uh, and what's inflation? Gain an additional when you spend the night. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you leave that out on the field, I'm going to take this, this hammer. All right, we got a new card. It's been added to your deck after your active cards. Okay, if you want to use it, yes. So I don't think I can. Oh, sweet. I might do there, move that around there. And then uh, we got this special additional card as a reward. Um, I believe it's it's you get it just in general in general like there's usually an additional reward after each battle so we got plus one endurance permanently oh that's pretty good so let's see so we got plus one active card now so instead of the five we got six okay and uh, let me just take a look at the character just to show the character so being this is rogue light when i do a new run uh, i'm gonna lose like say all of those bonuses uh, so let's just go. So we're going to go up. So there's a corrupted altar. So we got to find the votive altar uh, as usual. Uh, let's see. I think I might use this right away. So what's special about this character here is that it'll cause me to be, uh, it'll cause me to bleed. So I receive additional damage uh, on receiving damage. So it's not great. If I take this bow, it's going to deal five damage to this guy right here because he's the strongest. Let's do that. Kill him. And which way do I want to go? Okay, that wasn't ideal. There we go. More spirit. Okay, we're going to rest. New enemies. And that should deal three damage to these two guys around. This guy has a shield, so uh, it's basically additional hit points for him for non, all non-piercing damage. Okay. So let's see. So just because I damaged him doesn't mean I don't want to go around first before defeating him. Uh, but remember, if I go to sleep, it, 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 it gives all the remaining uh, enemies plus one health. So you don't want, you, you don't want to spend the night too much with, with, with too many enemies on the field. I'll take this, take this. Ooh, my special power is now ready to, to be used. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna do that. Fight this guy. 
and I'm going to use my ability now. There we go. Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of dangerous where I'm at right now because I only got seven. I've hurt myself quite a bit, and I'm quite sure there's still two more rounds to go. Okay. Oh, the altar's right there already. Okay, so that's good. So let's see. Do I have enough health to be able to kill this guy, this guy, and this guy, hopefully? And still get the maximum amount. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I don't tech... I technically have the health to do it, I think. Yeah, I do. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, that's so close. If, if I rest, I'll die from the fire. But I'm okay. So as you can see, I was badly damaged, basically about to die. But as soon as you get to the Voltive Altar, it restores all your health. And here we have a level 4 Relic Chest. Let's take a look at this Relic Chest. So this is a Relic. It gives you a permanent passive effect for this run. But once we start a new run, it'll, it should be reset. So we got the option of a Golden Chalice. Uh, plus Gives plus 3 to enemy loot cards. Uh, let's see. So plus three to enemy loot card. That's really good. Use uh, Sigil of Healing. Using a special power also heals you for three hit points. That's good if you have a build that revolves around getting a lot of spirit. This character hasn't... We haven't done that yet. Or Wood Scroll. Wood cards spend the night for free. Oh, okay. So when we pick up wood cards, oh, we can spend the night for free. That's not bad. So it kind of lets us stay longer. I'm going to go with the uh, enemy loot card though being stronger okay we got a relic okay so once again we can take a look at our passives once again it runs it's for this what's called expedition or run so let's go here let's pick up the holy plant that gives us a uh, plus one permanent health let me see if that shows up here it doesn't show up here okay let's go to the dark forest so we go to the next biome now Okay, so once again, trying to find the votive altar. And this one is teaching us about uh, special rules. So this one, let's see. So now there's a special ability. We can use one spirit to teleport basically to a place that has the fireflies on it. Okay, and what's special? That's, that's it. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to do this. So this guy is special. This. This icon means that it attacks in the observed direction, meaning that if I go onto this spot right here, the health potion, this thing will automatically attack me. So I'm gonna do that. It'll actually kill him first. I'm gonna use the hunting knife. That'll dam deal damage uh, three times uh, with one damage to a random enemy, but there's only one enemy on the field, which is this unicorn. It might be better to spend the night, uh, like, like go this way around, Spend the night and then use the hunting knife so we guarantee three full damage. But I'm gonna kill that guy right now. Get my spirit up. Get my spirit up. There we go. So I so that way I was able to get the maximum amount of rewards. And I'm not gonna pick up the health potion or medicinal herbs. It will help me find the votive altar faster, but I might need that. Like maybe I can go this way around and kill a lot of enemies and then heal myself up afterwards. So there we go. So this hammer, once again, is turning out to be really good. It's going to basically kill everything around me. Oh, that's a beautiful uh, item. So we got more wood. I'm going to destroy this guy. We got more spirit, and that's good. We'll find probably Voltive Altar should be available now. Yep. So now the question is, how do I want to deal with this? I think I'm going to use... You know what? No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the the follow the light. I'll switch us switch positions. I'll go here. I'll use my lateral shots to kill both of these guys. There we go. It's a votive shard. And now I'm going to rest one more time. And let's see who can we kill. I think we can kill basically the whole field. Yeah, let's do it. One. 
There's another one. There's another one. Notice how that guy will automatically attack to me. I'll get the photo shard now. We got level seven. Level seven chest. As you can see, the chest is 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 getting nicer. Choose a relic. So excess provisions are converted into shield. That's interesting. Once again, wood cards, uh, when you pick up a wood card, you can spend the knife for free, or we can excess provisions are converted into gold. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to go with the spend the knife for free. Okay. And then this holy apple gives us plus one to our maximum provision. So we'll go from five to six. So that's good. So now, as you can see, we, we started here. And then we have two two options. There's an anvil and there's a merchant. So let's try this uh, merchant over here. Uh, Nazale travels the region in search of stories to tell. She can't seem to express herself in any other way than singing. Okay, a few gold coins for a relic might to fend off uh, to fend off the monsters who lurks in the night. Okay, so let's see. So we can spend our gold to buy relics. Once again, this is only for this one run. Um, if we die or if we complete the run, then all these relics go away, but it's to help you get and complete the run. So flower of life, when you die, you go back to your previous zone. That's pretty good. Uh, when you receive gold, you also receive one spirit. That's pretty good as well. Uh, that allows me to use my ability more. So that triggers that, that, that triggers off that other relic we saw where I think when you deal damage, you heal. Um, torn map reveals the number of cards left to draw before finding the votive altar. There's some strategy with that. Or healing ring. Spirit cards also heal your hit points. Hmm. That's actually not bad. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the flower of life just in case. So we're going to purchase that. I have more money. I can buy more relics, but I'm not going to do that right now. Because remember, there's that anvil. Uh, so I'm going to go into this next next area. Okay. So this is the wood that we need to be able to repair our village. But uh, one thing you'll notice, uh, if you don't if you don't pay attention, you don't read, is going to give one to the max hit points of the enemies. So I think what I'm going to do is. Oh, you know what? Why don't I do this? Switch positions. Uh oh. What happened there with that wood? I didn't think that would happen. So that's okay because we still have enough spirit to use our lateral shot and shoot this guy and all guys here. So that's. It still worked out. Still worked out for us. So we're still okay. We'll get our spirit back. Go medicinal herbs, and I'm gonna uh, sleep right now. Let's see. I'm gonna go medicinal herbs. Use that. That's a beautiful thing. Now the thing is, with leaving so much on the board, yes, I leave a lot of good weapons, but it's gonna take me longer to find the votive altar. And remember, each time I rest is costing more in provisions. If you run out of provisions, you can still rest, but you start taking damage. Uh, but we just found some. Go. Okay. Take that. Oh! That relic I picked up. So remember, uh, I picked up this one right here. Wood cards spend the knife for free. I thought the way I read it was when I pick up wood cards, it allows me to rest for free by actively doing it. But you actually rest uh, immediately so that's that, that's actually pretty bad in a way it depends on the build so let's do that uh -oh. oh here perfect so see where i am right now normally i only have the option really right now unless i rest to get one votive shard but i'm going to use the follow the light to, to teleport here and then I'm going to be able to go this way and pick up the, the votive shards. I can still rest because I still have enough provisions actually. So we have that option too if we want to push our luck. So let's get that. Let's uh, rest and see what we can do. Okay, so... Hmm. 
I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna use my lateral shot to kill those two guys. Three guys, actually. There. That guy automatically attacks. Notice how uh, once the votive altars of uh, available, any enemy you kill, they don't they don't drop gold or other stuff anymore. They're gonna drop the votive shards, making your altar stronger. Here we go. We got another holy holy apple, <coughs> giving us plus one to maximum provisions. Now a level eight equipment chest. Let's see what we got. So here's a legendary card, turnip. Gives you one provision for each empty space. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So remember, there were relics available before, which I guess we could always pick up now. We can go back to the merchant and we can uh, get one provision for every, every space. That's pretty cool. Or uses up to three provisions and deals triple that amount in damage to all enemies in play. That is pretty good. That'd be good for a, a, a boss clear um, screen. So let's see. So this is good right at the right off at the beginning of the bat. So you know what? I'm going to try this. We're going to try the sickle, especially since we have a lot of provisions, right? Uses up to three provisions. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm since I picked up that card, I'm going to put the sickle right at the very beginning and let's make sure we have some additional provisions. I'm going to move the hunting knife down so that the blueberry becomes available for me. Okay. So now I have a lot of money and money doesn't do, money doesn't carry over. It doesn't turn into anything, at least uh, during the beta. So only wood carries over into your next uh, or goes, goes with you to be used. So here's an anvil and this is where we can upgrade cards. So maybe we can upgrade the hammer. And basically that gives plus one to the card. So we'll do four damage to enemies around you. Now let's see if we do sickle, uh, what happens here? Uses up to four provisions and deals triple that amount in damage to all enemies. That could kill me though. You know, that, that could really bite me in the butt if I do that. Because remember the provisions are used to go from turn to turn. So maybe I should go uh, the apple, and that'll give me four provisions. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. You know what? High risk, high reward, right? So <laughs> we're going to upgrade the sickle. Okay, there we go. We could upgrade it again. Do f up to five, five provisions doing uh, 15 damage. That's pretty crazy. But we won't do that right now. So let's see, looks like there's a merchant on this next screen here too. Milaris, a gruff old shepherd who seems to have lived a thousand lives. He's always ready to help the locals. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we can spend money to get a buff for this for the rest of this run. So we can get more endurance, more to hit points or give plus to max provisions. We're going for max provisions. And since I have money, let's go Endurance as well. Okay. So that gives me one additional active card right here. And I'm going to take this opportunity to now let you guys know about the uh, key giveaway. So once again, um, I'm going to be giving away all five keys today. Uh, to be eligible for this giveaway, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. And then I want you to comment in uh, or comment below um what do you like most about pyrene right now do you like the deck building aspect do you like the roguelike aspects do you like the graphic style uh, maybe it is the other games uh that this developer has come out with which should be uh what was it called into the fold uh which was a game once again uh, i've i've played before uh but for whatever reason my uh, video editing software didn't allow me to record it because it's, it's actually a super fun game. So once again, make sure you're a subscriber, comment below uh, what's your favorite part about Pyrene and uh, I will I will run a draw uh, on Sunday. Uh, so that gives you guys uh, about three days uh, and uh, uh, I'll pick five winners and just make sure that uh, with your YouTube account that you have an email address associated 
uh, with it because because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, check your profile and look for your email address and I will send you uh, a key. Once again, that is only thanks to the developers. Uh, Kevin at Two Tiny Dice, the, the developers, thank you for being able to provide me a key to this, ga to this game, which we're going to make a full series of and uh, for being able to provide five keys to my subs so that you know you guys can enjoy games that i enjoy so uh that is that uh okay so with that being said let's uh see if we can get to the looks like the boss end of the expedition so it's the end of the expedition oh boy so we reached the final zone we have to take out the boss to win the expedition uh there's no votive altar you our only objective is to defeat the boss and notice the rain weather effects so there's weather effects so let's see whether when this status is applied it doubles its value when a status is applied it doubles its value oh okay so this is like a status uh, so bleed that's really bad but that's okay we're gonna use sickle and just kill everything right off right off everyone's dead oh no hey that guy should have been dead right his reincarnation there oh no he's not dead yet Oh, uh, that's okay. He dead, yeah. Oops. Um. Ooh. Uh oh. I have very strong poison on me now. Um, should I do this? I think I'm okay. Funny. Dark Voltive Altar. <laughs> so that sickle made that. That that boss battle, this 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 boss battle was super trivial because it basically noticed killed everything on the board, and that boss did have reincarnation. So uh, thankfully, the rest of my weapons was able to take him out very easily. So we got some wood there, and there is Zoe, a little ermine who forged a strong bond with Akohan. Her instincts are never wrong. So let's go talk to him. Zoe, I'm so glad to see you. Everything all right? Cree, cree, cree. I know this monolith is really weird. Let's not go near it. It could be dangerous. Zoe, no! Oh. She disappeared. Okay, let's check it out then. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Score of 50. And it breaks it down for us. Victory. How many biomes we explored. Danger zones cleared. Average value of, of votive altars. That seems to play a big impact uh, holy cards acquired not so much damage inflicted not so much wood collected not so much so it looks like victory plays a big part the number of biomes you explore the danger zones cleared and more importantly the votive altar so the longer you can push your luck the, the more points you get okay cool let's go back to the village wait a minute that's our barn i'm back at the village what the Let's see, let's go anything at the barn. So the barn takes a look of your latest expedition. So these were the cards that I had. The sickle's the MVP, although the hammer was pretty good too. So obviously there's good reason to sometimes spend that time to get the better votive altar. And these were the relics that I had. Okay, so uh, that's that. We're back. What, you too? Zoe, I didn't believe your magic monolith story, but if Atania is already here, I guess Akohan won't be long. Kri kri Ako. What do you mean Akohan isn't with you? He'd never leave you. He must. Kri Ako kri kri. Over there, are you sure you can track his trail from this far away? The bond between you two will never cease to amaze me. Mom. If you want, I can go and look for Akohan while you keep guarding the village with Zoe, in case he comes back by himself. Oi, I just, I didn't just stand guard. I rebuilt the watchtower while you're away. Take a look at it before you go back. It might help you. Okay, so we have to find Akohan now. And let's take a first look at the watchtower. If Once again, if you're unfamiliar with the game. So she rebuilt the watchtower and these relics we can select to make your expedition easier or you prefer ones that make the game more difficult. So that 
that was different. Um, let's see. So this is basically for accessibility or to challenge you. So if the game's too too hard for you, you can select easy mode options. Or if they're if it's too easy, then you can go hard mode. Adds as many enemies and danger zones as the number of biomes traversed. Interesting. Plus one hit points to all enemies. Interesting. And accessibility. So if you're really having a hard time, you just want to turn off your brain and just press click things. Uh, you, you can be immune to all damage, which uh, I don't know. But uh, so that's that's what the watchtower is. Now, before we go into the dark forest, I'm going to spend my wood. Um, let's rebuild some things. So it looks like with 13 wood, I can rebuild one to two things. Um, I am going to, let's see, tavern. This will is a place to rest and give away to the other villagers and the workshop. Um, market, forge. You know what? I want to upgrade the forge. So we're going to add wood. You can, you can add any amount of wood if we want. So I can go like three wood here and come back to it later on. Uh, and then, you know, maybe do these two. But uh, I'm going to put all the rest of the wood into here. There we go. The forge is rebuilt. So at the forge, unlock useful cards for your expeditions. So card level one, uh, we got thorny plants. Bring 13 out of 45 wood back to the village and we'll unlock thorny plant. Heals you three hit points, inflicts three thorns to enemies around you. Not bad. Okay. So use the anvil, buy a card. So just by playing the game, you're going to unlock cards now through the forge. Uh, there's level two, but we have to upgrade. And to upgrade, it's going to, we're unable to upgrade until you must upgrade the other buildings first. Okay, that's fine. So that's interesting. So we still have three more wood and hey, that's just enough for our taverns. Let's do that. The taverns rebuilt. And now that allows us to change uh, playable characters. So looks like there are quite a few uh, characters in the game, which I, which I love. More characters means different starting decks, meaning more ways to play the game. So that's really cool. Lots of characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six other characters, so seven characters in total that you can play, each with their own play style. So uh, I am going to jump over here. We're not going to use any watchtower stuff. Go to the dark forest and we're going to see whether we can find Akohan. Okay, so a lot of weak guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wood. And now remember, um, being that this is a new expedition, you don't bring the stuff. Even though I survived, I don't bring any of the stuff for whatever reason. Uh, I don't bring that stuff to the next expedition. So as you can see, the hammer's gone, the sickle's gone. Uh, I believe something else. I had something else. Uh, same thing with the relics. All the relics, all those special health provision buffs, they're all gone. So I like that. That it doesn't bother me. So this is going to give all enemies plus one hit points. Uh, but I have a hunting knife, so that's fine. Let's do that. That guy's dead. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't the most ideal play because that guy's now healed. Let's go. I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? Uh... Hmm. Ooh, there's a sword. All right. And I'm done. I'll rest. There's a medicinal herb. I'll use the sword. One damage to all enemies. That guy's dead. Two. Spirit, medicinal herb, another spirit. Beautiful. Rest again. So see, now I've run out of, I've run out of, uh, what's it called? Provision. So as you can see, if I want to rest, it's going to cost me four hit points. So it's, uh, it's, ris it's risky. So let's see, if I take the three apples, let's see, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's, 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 let's run it. So see, I have three out of the four provisions required. So it's going to cost me one hit points. Let's see. 
So why am I doing this? I'm doing this so that we can upgrade the Voltive Altar as, as much as we can. And while it's easy, we're going to go for it. There we go. Voltive Altar 6. Holy Plant gives plus one maximum hit points for this expedition. Level 6 uh, equipment chest. Let's see what we got. Oh, Chainmail. Epic. Sets your shield equal to your lost hit points. Huh. Inflation or the Grapes. Ah, the Grapes is a stronger provision. Heals you. And we get provisions. Uh, you know what? Let's always go for the higher, higher rarity item. For now. Okay. So we got a new card. And, oh, don't forget, it's an item. So we got to replace it. So let's do that. Maybe put the chain out. The order is important because uh, the cards that appear, the, sp the cards that help you that appear, appear in order. So if I put chain mail, that means on the first turn, it's all the cha chain mail will always be on the map, whereas the apple may not be. So I'm going to go with chain mail near actually here. Maybe like that. That'll help. Okay. So this is the end of the biome. There's another votive altar. So as you can see, my choices were single bow and hunting knife and the apple. And uh, there, those three are on the board first. So let's see, let's figure out my mode of attack. If I do this, it's going to take out this guy. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go here. Attack this guy. Okay, that's not ideal. That guy's dead. Oh, well, that's not good. Rest. No, that's not great. Okay. So we don't want to deal with the poison guy. So let's see. A root heals one hit points for each empty space in play. That's great. Okay. But now we have a problem. I think I'm going to use the follow the light so that I can teleport to here. Maybe I'll kill these two guys. I don't want to kill this guy because that guy is going to poison. Me. There we go. Rest again. Okay, so we have three provisions. We can still rest one more time. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm really close to death now. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm dead. Oh, so this is what happens when you, you know, you know, uh, when you try to push your luck. So my score, so I failed. So I can either retry or when you die, you bring back 50% of the wood. So let's go back to the village. And that's okay. You know, things like that will happen. You push your luck, things like this will happen and, and you'll die. So I still got to bring back three wood. So maybe we'll put it towards the warehouse because I didn't. This wasn't available to repair, I believe, in, in the demo. So three of the wood. And after maybe one or two more successful runs, we'll have enough wood for the warehouse. And then we just go and we try to do another run. See, see whether, um, you know, whether we're successful this time. Okay, so I'm going to go Medicinal Herbs, Hunting Knife, there we go, easy peasy. Maybe shouldn't have done that, but oh boy. Um, okay, Photo Altar is not here. Go get that. Okay, this time I'm going to go like this. That guy dies. So the question is, I'll do that. Do I rest and take two damage? Let's see. Let's push our luck. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. It's no problems. Yeah, we can definitely do that. So, so that was worth worth the risk. Because remember, once we get to the Voltive Altar, it'll heal us fully. So, the, and that gave us uh, two more to our equipment chest. So we got the Holy Apple, let's take that. Okay, 
So this time we have the wheat to add to our deck. Gives you three provision. The excess is deal dealt as damage to enemies in play. Is that all enemies in play? Ice ball, frost, inflicts three frost to three random enemy cards in play. And in the top right, you can see what it means. So it reduces the attack to exactly one damage. So basically frost is good to uh, fight a lot of enemies or to fight enemies without taking uh, damage from them or not taking full damage from them. Or the red herb heals eight, eight hit points if you have less than 50% health. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards this. You do wheat and do like the sickle right at the very beginning and um, we, 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 can, we can deal a lot of damage to people. So we're gonna put the wheat first. We will switch out that. That's fine, okay. Okay, so let's get out of this biome or try to get out of it. Okay, perfect. The wheat is in, is in perfect position. So we have, so this is going to, this should do three damage to all enemies on the board. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Question is where, how are we going to move? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Actually, you know what? This is perfect. This is the best move because enemies will spawn over here. And then the first thing I pick up is the bow and the hunting knife to kill the remaining enemies. Okay. Yes. That was the guy I was hoping that would, would get taken out. I'm going to take this guy. Get the gold coins. Now I'm bleeding, but the medicinal herb should remove the bleeding. And it does. Perfect. Uh, now the question is, should I teleport here, go up here, go up here, get the extra coin? And I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Extra thing. So there is the votive altar. We can kill only two enemies. Hmm. You know what? Let's get as many guys as possible. Okay, so let's see, what do we got? Uh... Okay. So we got a holy plant that gives plus one to maximum hit points. I don't know why the gold coins is right there. Let's see. Uh, vial of poison. Enemies appear with two poison. They take one damage after each of your moves. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, I prob probably leaning towards that. Adds two ice ball cards to danger zones. As you can see in the top right, it reminds you what ice ball does. Or using a power also gives you four shield. We're going with vial of poison. All right. There we go. Next biome, yes please. Okay, so looks like here's a merchant. We can we can increase our provisions, our endurance, our health. Let's take a look at our deck. Uh, we could use some more endurance for more provisions. Um, yeah, let's do that. So now we got the extra card, the extra blueberries. Okay, that's good. And now, uh, so the anvil to our right, we're not gonna go there right now. So this should kill all the enemies on the field. It'll kill him. It'll basically, he'll be dead. He'll be dead. And uh, this guy is, oh no, they're poison too. Wow, that is a pretty amazing ability. Here's a new card. Inflicts two burn to two random enemies in play and burn, they take damage when you spend the night. So let's uh, rest, I guess. Hmm. This is that poison. The poison vial is really amazing. It's going to kill this guy, and it'll um, uh, kill him at least once. There we go. Beautiful. That's a really amazing card. I want to find that bolt of altar as soon as possible. So there it is. Uh, 
guy's dead. Everyone's dead. Wow, such an amazing card. Okay. I could have probably slept. I, I, I had so much, but I'm just trying to go a little faster for you guys. Protective scroll. After spending the night, you receive five shield. That's amazing. Gives plus two to wood cards. Ooh, that's really good. Or when you receive gold, you also heal one hit point. Mm -hmm. Let's do the gold, the, the wood, extra wood, so that we can repair things faster. So it looks like there's a merchant over here. Zandia. I'm even surprised you made it this far with those lousy old cards of yours. Oops. So purchase cards for gold, which I don't even have, have so that kind of sucks. Okay, we're going to do... Wow, that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. That's an amazing card. Woo. Oh, look at this. There's not even any enemies in this one. Uh, okay. I'm just going to avoid them all. Look at that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit overpowered, even. Okay, let's see if we can get the Voltive art Altar nice and high. Yeah, that's good. Level 6 is good. Plus 1 to Endurance. So now all of the cards are available, but we're probably adding a card right here. So an additional health potion, a uh, Servoy, uh, generates one copy of a random card from your deck. That, that's pretty cool. Or the Chainmail again. Let's try this new one. And uh, we will... Oh, we have enough Endurance anyways. Okay, we'll have that at the very end. Okay. That poison is real powerful though. Uh, let's see. Exit. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, what's this guy? Proud and pretentious. This warrior knows a lot about monsters and how to defeat them. Excuse me, but who are you? I don't think I've seen you around here before. You can call me Andos. I came as soon as I heard. I'm here to free these lands from the monsters Heron Sug and Unleashed. Heron Sug? Come on. Heron Sug, the legendary seven headed serpent? No? People around here really have no clue. Heronsug is the ruler of all the monsters that haunt these lands. Monsters that have been freed by his summoning. But who? Who could have dared to summon him? Oh, a demon even more terrifying than all the monsters you've met so far. Pyrene. But we'll talk about her another time. Don't worry, we'll meet again, eventually. He, he's gone? That's a weird one. Usually that guy's supposed to give us stuff, but that's okay. Let's check. And well, do we have enough money? We don't have enough money to upgrade any cards. Okay. Going to the mountain biome now. Okay. So what's special about this biome? It's going to tell us right here. So when we go, when we free up a spot and uh, everything will fall down one step. So let me show you. We'll go like this. So the wheat goes down. There we go. So everything moves down. So the question is, do I want to do that? I want to take provision now. There we go. Beautiful. Lots of wood. Um, yeah, let's take that. Let's see. Knife. Beautiful. These guys are getting crushed. There's our provisions. Take that guy. Just take one damage. The whole field's empty. Look at now. So as you can see, now the enemies, now that we're in this this third biome, I guess, the enemy's starting to get strong. This this uh, bee cut it is uh, has six health. Stone Golems has low health, but high uh, shields. And I think, if I'm lucky, 
the uh, poison will kill him. We got a griffin, goblin, and even a minotaur. So let's see. No. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. So see, that was a mistake because now I can't move anywhere. So I, I, have, to, I have to spend the night, use up. Oh boy, that's not good. I'm going to use my lateral shot. Now the question is, I was about to go pick this up. If I go here, I'm going to have to fight all these guys first. I think I can do it. Now the question is, who do I want to fight? Now if I do this... have enough health I think. let's see Ooh, just that's that's so risky if I did it right gives you plus one maximum provisions okay cool level eight equipment chest so let's see we got a uh, ring of Iriape. gives two shield for every enemy in play that's not bad gives Plus one to a random. So these are actual cards, I think, that we're adding to our deck. Gives plus one to a random card in play from your deck permanently. Hmm, that's pretty good. That's better early than than what it is now, but still. Let's see. Silex inflicts one damage to enemies in the same row and column as you. Huh. I'm thinking... This one. But this might help me survive the boss, the boss fight of the mountains. So let's see. I am not going to select this yet. You know, I'll do that. That might work. Okay. So let's see. We started here. We're, we're going to go up. Here is another. Here's the vendor again. Book of Souls adds two spare cards to danger zones. Adds two wooden shields to danger zones. Whenever you receive gold, you receive heal one hit points. And we don't have enough for a grape. I'm not going to do anything here. There is an anvil which we can upgrade something. Let's see, what do we want to upgrade? Can we upgrade plus three shield for any, every enemy? Or I can upgrade this to deal excess damage to enemies in play. I think that's important. Mm. But that uses up my provisions. No, gives you provisions. Here. Oh, I can't upgrade it. It costs too much. We don't have enough money to do it. Okay, whatever. Let's see, what do we got? Nice. There we go. Okay. Gotta be careful now. So that... This will deal the damage to him. Let's heal now. No votive altar. This will give me uh, four shield. Should I fight this guy? That's the question. Or let's use maybe my lateral shot. Mm, I don't know. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm... That's not good. Let's see, this will heal me for each an empty space in play. Hmm, that's not good. Oh, perfect. That was perfect. Now, let's see, this is kind of dangerous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, that did a lot of damage to me. Okay, let's 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 take it. 
Holy plant. More health. Level 4 equipment chest. Okay, we got another single bow. Maybe explosive potion. Inflict burn to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction on their adjacent enemies. Oh! Or another servoy. Let's try explosive potion. Though maybe I should have taken the arrow just, just to fight the boss. Uh, I am going to move the blueberry back and we'll do explosive potion. Maybe near, maybe near the early stages. And I think we're going to come across the boss soon, so I'm going to go with the ring, the wheat, and maybe even this. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, we're not there yet, so let's see. Uh, this doesn't help anyone. That guy healed up. I kind of want to kill this guy right now. Still no votive altar. We, we kind of want to make sure we always get the two hits uh, or, or two movement points. Go. Where's that altar? There it is. Hmm. Let's hope we can kill this guy. Not really, but that's okay. that. There we go. Another holy apple for additional provision. Level 4 and I think it's boss time. Let's see. Gives plus 1 to chests. Holy cards no longer appear. Nope. When there are no cards in play, spending the night does not consume provisions. Ooh, interesting. Or plus 3 to enemy loot cards. Let's go for that. Okay. So it looks like this is the boss time. Oh. Akohan, there you are. Zoe was sure you were somewhere in these mountains. Are you alright? You look... Atania, no! Don't come any closer. By all the gods, it came back. Okay, so I think that's the boss. So he has resurrection. And he has freezing, so it inflicts frost to me. So that's not good. We need to deal damage to him. Uh, let's do this. We're going to do... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to pick up the Ring of Ariape first. And that'll give me 10 shield, which is what we want. Hmm, that's dangerous. Though. Okay. So he has resurrection. Oh, he's dead. Just like that. So, ah, let's just take it. Okay, there we go. Atania, thank you, but we still have to get back to the village. And I don't know if I have the strength to... Wait a minute. I know these runes. Argaziki, the light of stones. Can this monolith take us home? Yes. All you have to do is touch it, and you'll soon understand. Okay. So we found Akohan. And uh, that should mean possibly that I've unlocked him as a character. And uh, we've unlocked a new card from doing certain things. I forgot what it was. And uh, uh, we can add this to a... Can, this can now be found in future expeditions. Thorny plant. So it heals you. And deals thorns to enemies around you. So interesting. So there he is. But uh, I think we're going to end the episode right here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget, there was a way to get a key for uh, Pyrene. Um, but you'll have to be, you'll have to have watched 
this uh, this this video to to know what to do. Thanks so much for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Pyrene, uh, video games, board games, and other fun things. Once again, thanks again to Kevin at uh, Two Tiny Dice for not only providing the the keys to this game, the keys for the giveaway, but for just uh, making such an amazing game. I know that this will be a staple on my channel for quite a while. Check out the rest of my channel for other stuff and I will see you next time.